Okay, so magandang umaga mga engineers. So welcome sa Engineer JD YouTube channel. At ito ang fourth video na ngayon sa ating channel. At sa video na ito, so this is our first time na magpre-present tayo at magdi-discuss, magsasolve tayo ng isang contest problem. So nagustuhan ko tong problem na to because despite using the basic principles na alam natin, so it is very interesting and also very challenging. Okay. So, without further ado, so ipresenta natin itong problem na to at isolve na natin. Okay? So, this is the problem. So, it appeared in the 7th intercollegiate aggregates quiz. So, sa quiz na ito. So, this is the hardest engineering science quiz B in the country. Okay? So, in this quiz B, so merong apat na rounds. So, sieving, quartering, quarrying, and... Of course, the aggregates round. So, pinaka, hindi ko na alam, hindi ko na kabisado ulit yung order. Pero, the aggregates round is the hardest round. So, nasa aggregates round, yung mga pinaka may hirap na tanong. And one of the categories, one of the difficulties sa aggregates round is what we call the reinforced difficult. So, reinforced difficult, yun yung pinaka mahirap na problem sa aggregates quiz. Okay? So, this problem, so... This is one of the reinforced difficult questions. So, uh, bale, yung pala. So, uh, makwento ka lang. So, I was one of the substitute judges doon sa quiz me na yun. And, and ako yung mahawak, ako yung humawak ng statics of rigid bodies na mga questions. So, so, nung nakita ko to, nung pinacheck sa akin to, actually, natuwa ako kasi very, ano siya, so, medyo simple pero challenging. Kumbaga, interesting talaga siya. Okay? And unfortunately, sa tanong na to, uh, actually, walang nakakuha dito na sa sampung contestants na natira sa aggregates round. So, walang nakakuha. Actually, merong isa, pero nagkamali sa ng unit. So, imbis na newtons yung unit, naging kilonewton. So, so technically, mali pa din. Okay? Pero, nakuha na nila yung magnitude ng ano, sagot. So, sayang. Okay? So, yun. So, for this video, i-discuss natin tong interesting problem na to. Okay? So, let's start. So, we have a man here. So, nakaupo siya, weighing 700 newtons. And sa tanong na ito, pinapahanap yung maximum bending moment ng frame member EFB. Ayan. Okay. So, for simple frame analysis, okay, palitan muna natin yung man ng isang point load. So, the weight is 700 newtons. Okay? So, the weight is 700 newtons. And, okay. Now, for frame analysis, so, okay, and first step is first consider the free body diagram of the whole system. So, in this case, meron tayong pinned support dito. And, for pinned support na in 2D, in 2-dimensional, so, we have two forces, two reactions. EX and EY so horizontal and vertical reactions now walang walang moment reaction dito because it's pinned it's free to rotate okay now for this one so C so nakapatong lang siya dun sa floor okay so since nakapatong lang siya there's only one reaction force and that is normal to the surface again perpendicular to the surface CY so vertical lang dito okay so, wala siyang horizontal reaction kasi free siya gumalaw along the horizontal. And pwede rin siyang umikot. Again, pwede siyang umikot kaya wala rin moment reaction. Okay? Okay, so now let's now determine these reactions. So first, let's take summation of moments about E. Okay, equals 0. So counterclockwise taken as positive. So actually kahit anong direction pwedeng clockwise is positive or counterclockwise is positive pero choice niyo na yun so basta consistent lang tayo dapat sa signs natin okay so dito so we have negative 700 so bakit siya negative with respect to point E yung force na to is clockwise ang sense diba tama so negative 700 times the moment arm which is dalawang 0.25 so 0.5 tama then plus plus kasi ito naman CY ang sense naman niya ay counterclockwise about point E counterclockwise is positive 
CY times apat na 0.25 as the moment arm. Okay, so 1 equals 0. Solving for CY, you will get CY is 350 newtons. Kawa po. So next, let's now summation forces vertical equals 0. So we have 3 forces along the vertical. So we have EY, positive. Then we have 700, downward, so negative since downward siya. And then CY, positive. So equals 350, nakuha na natin siya kanina. Equals 0. And therefore, so solving for EY, we'll get EY is 350 newtons. Okay? Finally, so ano pang hindi natin ako na gagamit ba? So we have the moment, summation vertical. So ang natitira na lang ay summation horizontal. So take uh, take left or actually the right as positive. May kita nyo dito, hindi siya nagmamatter. Kasi dito, isa na lang naman yung force natin. So EX, tama? So either negative EX or EX. So isa na lang naman siya. So automatically, EX is equal to 0. Okay? okay? Next. So now, nakuha na natin. So let's na substitute the forces. So 350, 350. Tinanggal na natin yung horizontal because 0 naman siya. Okay? Now, after natin makonsider yung FBD na whole system, let's now break the frame so into parts and then consider the free body diagram of each member of the frame. So first, let's condition, consider this frame. So dito, so meron tayong dalawang pins. Since nakapin to, so uh, restrained and translation, horizontal and vertical. So we have two reactions. Okay, so horizontal and vertical. So dito, fx, fy. Dito, ax and ay. Now, dito, inassume na natin na to the right si fx at ax and upwards si fy and ay. Pero actually, you can use any sign convention basta consistent lang tayo. Okay? So dito, ina-assume po muna na positive this way. Okay? Ayan. And after this, let's now, for example, relate natin si ax at ay. So let's take moments about point F. So matatanggal to syempre yung forces na to kasi nagpa-pass through sa moment point which is F. So, matitira, summation of moments about F equals 0. So, we have negative AX clockwise times the moment arm which is 3 plus AY is positive. So, counterclockwise kasi siya. AY times the moment arm which is 0.25 equals 0. Okay? So, next, after natin makonsider naman to, punta naman tayo sa kabilang frame which is frame ABC. Okay, so A, B, C And then, kung kanina Diba, nag-assume tayo ng Diba na, meron tayong forces dito Force directions dito From this frame Now, paglipat sa kabila Dapat, reverse na yung direction niya Again Sorry So again, action, reaction So, action, reaction Newton's third law Tama So, Paglipat niya sa kabila, dapat opposite na yung direction. So, in this case, downward na si AY and to the left na si AX. Okay? Now, dito, so bago may bagong force tayo dito, so we can assume right and positive, right and upward as positive, BX and BY. Okay? Now, after we label, so after we have these forces, so let's now, again, relate this AX and AY para consistent. So, let's take summation about point B. So, summation moments at point B. So, we have negative AX. So, positive. No? Sorry, sorry. Positive AX kasi counterclockwise ang sense. So, moment arm is 3. Then, plus ulit. So, counterclockwise ulit sa AY. Then, moment arm is 0.25. Then, positive ulit. Kasi counterclockwise naman itong reaction sa C. Okay, 350 times the moment arm 0.25 equals 0. Okay, so you'll see 
So, we have two equations in two unknowns. So, AX and AY. So, may, kung may system of equation solver kayo, so, madali siya makukuha. Pero kung mamanumanuhin nyo, you can add these two. So, masusolve nyo yun si AY. And then, substitute, masusolve nyo naman si AX. Okay? So, we'll get AX is negative 14.5833 newtons and AY is negative 175 newtons. Kuha po. So now, substitute na natin. Ito na siya. Take note, hindi ko pa binabago yung take note. Naka-negative pa siya because yun yung nakuha natin. Negative. So now, since negative and this downward, so gawin natin positive naman to. So pag ginawa natin siyang positive, magbabago yung direction ng forces natin. So, magiging ganito siya. Tama? So, yan na siya. Now that we have this, okay na, nakapositive na siya, let's now get BX and BY. So, summation of forces, horizontal, so, to the right, sorry, to the right is positive. So, we have 14.5833 plus BX to the right equals 0. Okay? So, we'll get BX is negative 14.5833 newtons. Next, Summation, forces vertical, so upward is positive equals 0. So, we'll have 175, okay, plus BY, then plus 350 equals 0. So, we'll get BY is negative 525 newtons, okay? So, next, substitute na natin itong dalawang to. So, dito pala, okay? So, let's now consider the third frame. So, frame, ito na yung main frame natin na i-concern. So, main frame, EFB. Main frame member, EFB. So, again, it's upward and to the right dun sa frame AB, sa member ABC. And since nasa member EFB na tayo, babalik na rin na natin yung sign, yung direction. Again, action, reaction. So, downward and to the left. Okay? Then, earlier, nakuha na natin itong values na to, Ayan. And now, since negative siya, gawin natin siyang positive by changing the direction. So, we'll get this one. Okay? Now, Fx and Fy is here. So, actually, may direction na tayo kanina from frame, from member AFD. Pero, actually, kahit hindi na natin i-reflect to because we can actually summation forces na dito, horizontal and vertical, in order to get the forces here. So, in this case, summation forces horizontal, since 14.58 na to the right to, so dapat ito, to the left na siya, para maging 0. Tama? Ayan. Then dito, so you have 350 upward, 525 upward, so ilan yun? 875 minus 700 is downward to, so 125. The net force is upward, so let's make this, uh, ayan, 175. So, let's make this downward naman. Okay? So, this is the forces at the supports or at, of course, the, the reactions at this member EFB. So, isolating this one, since ang concern naman natin is maximum venting moment, so let's get only the vertical forces. So, this one. And then, let's start drawing the shear and bending moment diagram okay so starting with the shear diagram so we'll start of course with zero then naka encounter ka ng 350 upward na force so aangat yung shear force mo tama so this is 350 then at this point bakit naging constant na lang siya it's because wala ka ng applied forces in between this so in this region wala ka ng ibang applied force so constant lang yung force natin which is at 350. Okay? Now, at this point, so naka-encounter naman siya ng 175 downward, so bababa yan. So, from 350 minus 175, so magiging 175 na lang siya, babagsak siya. Then again, at this region, wala naman ulit forces na applied. So, constant ulit, the value is 175. Then, dito naman, so naka-encounter siya ng downward force na 700, so, this, bababa ulit siya. So, 7, negative, 175 minus 700 is negative 525. Then, sa region na to, 
Naka-encounter ulit siya ng walang forces. So, constant ulit. So, negative 5, 25. Then, finally, so, naka-encounter naman siya ng upward force na 525. So, negative 525 plus 525 is 0. Okay? 0. Yan. So, 0 na siya. So, actually, you can check the bending moment diagram of this pag nagsara ulit. Pag, I mean, pag 0 ulit to, ibig sabihin, tama yung forces natin. Okay? So, dito nagsara na rin siya. So, medyo sure na tayo na tama yung forces natin. Okay? So, dito, let's now get the absolute maximum bending moment. So, may kita nyo dito. So, meron one intersection point. Ito. So, this is one intersection point. So, yung graph natin, nag-intersect once dun sa member natin. So, this is the axis natin. So, nag-intersect siya once. Ibig sabihin, at this point, meron tayong maximum bending moment. Okay? So, so what is this? So, at this point, ano yung bending moment natin? So, it's basically the area. So, either the area of this, tama, the total area of this, or the area of this one, area under the curve. So, area of the region, okay? Again, kaya ang bakit ganun? Because bending moment is the integral of shear. Take note, integral is the integral, bending moment is the integral of shear with respect to the distance x from the left end or the right end, okay? So, dito, so absolute maximum bending moment. So, ito muna, ito. So, we have rectangle to, So, 350 times 0.25, okay? Then, Consider the second one. Okay? Second one is 175 times 0. 0.25. So, so, finding the value, we have 131.25 Newton meter as the final answer. Okay? So, nakuha po ba natin yan? So, I hope na nasunda natin. So, so may kita nyo. So, it's Actually, basic principles lang to. So, nakikita nyo, equilibrium equations lang yung ginamit natin. Pero, yun. Given na 120 seconds lang tong problem na to, so actually, it's very challenging then kung tutuusin. Okay? So now, so bago ko i-present yung pra practice problem for this video, so, pakilala ko muna yung mga nanalo. Of course, dun sa aggregate quiz. No? So, congratulations. So, you survive so, so i say you survive the the of course the hardest engineering science quiz be in the country so the second runner up is bulacan state university team b so may kita nyo so ito siya ito silang tatlo very nice so here are the panel of experts um, of course with me at this one at this right end so ito siya so very nice ayan then, first runner-up is Cebu Technological University, Danao, Team B. Okay. Ayan. Very nice. Ito silang tatlo. And, of course, the champion. So, yung pinakamalakas sa kanila. So, again, Cebu. So, Cebu Technological University Main Campus. Okay. So, very nice. Very nice. Congrats. Ayan. So, I hope makita ulit namin kayo next year. So, I hope maging panel ulit ako next year. Uh, hopefully. Okay. Okay. So, yan. So, very nice. So, now, let's go now to our practice problem for today. Okay. So, medyo binago ko lang yung... So, A-frame pa rin siya. Pero binago ko lang yung position ni man na nakaw po. Nakahawak pa sa ulo. Mukhang may inisip. Ayan. So, now, 800 newton siya. And... At the section XX, so let's now determine the shear force and the bending moment. So again, please comment your answer and solution on course on the video. So and on the next course, the next installment, we di display natin yung mga top solvers. Okay. Now again, uh, again please uh, subscribe to my channel and of course. Uh, like and follow my Facebook page, Engineer JD, and of course, join this wonderful group, uh, Engineering Civil Engineering Board Exam Problems Philippines. Okay, so that's all for today. So we just napahabat tayo. So bukas or tama siguro bukas. Pogo po sulit ako ng bagong video all about energy methods. Okay, so good morning everyone and.